What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up. Say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence, so with that out of the way, let's get started. Hi guys, today we're talking about an EV penny stock that's been flying under the radar. We're talking about Grande West Transportation, ticker symbol BUSXF. Before you watch any further, please note that this stock currently trades in the OTC and TSX markets. Now let's take a look at the chart. We can see that the stock has been on a tear recently, but even so at a share price of $2.75 and with a market cap of just $235 million, this looks like an extremely undervalued stock with massive upside potential going forward. First off, this isn't just a random new startup that plans on developing a product two or three years from now, this is an established company which has been around for 12 years. Grande West Transportation is a market leader in the mid-sized heavy-duty bus market segment in Canada. So they've already established some key relationships in Canada. They claim to have achieved over 90% market share in Canada and have over 500 vehicles currently operating in the country. On the 17th of November 2020, the company announced that they've officially entered the EV market race and that's when the share price started to climb. Grande West has chosen to work with BMW's battery modules and components and to ride on a Hoffa German powertrain. The company has combined proven EV tech offerings to create its vicinity lighting bus, which charges like a car. The rally on the new EV stock gathered momentum on January the 8th after the company released an investor presentation that wowed the market. Analysts expect strong battery electric bus sales revenue growth over the next decade, and the market believes in the growth path ahead. Now, let's take a closer look and jump into the investor presentation. A key thing that I'd like to highlight here again is that this company is not a new startup. They already have relationships with transit authorities and have over 500 vehicles in Canada alone. Now, these vehicles are not all electric, as they've just announced recently that they're going to go in that direction, but it helps when you already have strong relationships in place as it makes it easier to build up a large order book. And with Bloomberg estimating 25,000 EV bus sales by 2020, Grande West is well positioned to take a large portion of that. Another key highlight to mention here is that they're opening a new manufacturing headquarter in the US and they are already getting large orders from the United States. So according to this graph over here, the market opportunity for the vicinity lighting bus is around 5,175 annually. So this is the actual electric bus. As mentioned before, they're going to use BMW's integrated battery packs and Hoffa's powertrain systems. Now let's take a look at how they aim to expand their business in the United States. I like how they're going to sell their EV buses through dealerships because they already have strong relationships with them and they're saying that they're going to have coverage in every state which is impressive. And then they're basically saying that dealers are crying out for EV buses and the vicinity buses fills this need. Now in terms of total production and capacity, we're looking at 3000 units per year which is impressive once again. To give you some context, x produced and delivered 4224 electric vehicles in November last year. Now obviously you can't directly compare the two companies as they operate in slightly different segments of the EV market and also Grande West has yet to sell those 3000 vehicles uh, for a more reasonable comparison to be made later. But this should give you an idea of what that 3000 number means. Now I want to show you their timeline over here as it gives a more holistic view of the history and the future of this company. So clearly 2020 was a breakthrough year over here. Grande West Transportation received a large order for the EV buses valued at over $40 million. Now, let's take a quick look at their balance sheet. So their debt to equity is considered high at 51%, but it's not horrendous. Usually a 40% debt to equity ratio is considered satisfactory. And it's also important to note that they've reduced their debt to equity ratio from 253.2% to 51.8% over the past five years. This is important because it shows that they're serious about strengthening their balance sheet. So I take this as a positive sign. Another really positive sign is that insiders have been buying shares in the last three months. Whenever insiders buy shares, it indicates that they know something that we don't know about the company yet or they know that the share is going to go up so it's always seen as a positive sign. I have a position in this company as I expect the share price to go much higher from here. 
and I also expect the share price to see a huge spike when they list on Nasdaq, which is inevitable in my opinion. So that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think about this company. Are you buying this stock or are you staying away from it? Leave a comment down below. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.